Summer is definitely over by Monday because that's the 1st of September. And for us meteorologically minded, that means it's the first day of autumn. The final weekend of summer has a distinctly autumnal look about it. The pressure chart dominated by low pressure systems. This one's been sitting up to the northwest for a number of days. And as we head into the weekend, another one joins in and uh, well, pretty much replaces that one by the time we get to Sunday. These weather fronts will bring a spell of rain across the country and the ice bars uh, pretty close together means it'll often be quite blustery this weekend as well. Let's rewind the fun and uh, go into a bit of detail. Actually, most of us will start the weekend dry and fine with some sunshine, certainly over much of East Wales, the Midlands, Eastern England and a good part of Scotland. But that weather system is approaching. Ahead of it, a few showers on Saturday morning for Wales, maybe northwest England too. But as I said, many places will start dry. Here comes the rain though, that set of weather fronts we've just seen spreading into uh, Northern Ireland by lunchtime, West Wales as well. And by the middle of the afternoon, we'll see that rain through the central belt, of course, much of Northwest England, most of Wales, Southwest England too. Notice though, it's still dry across East Anglia and the Southeast, although it will be clouding over and staying dry and fine across much of Northern Scotland until quite late in the day. Notice too, however, that that rain will be heavy in places, the brighter colours and accompanying it, the winds will be strengthening too. Temperatures close to average for the time of year, but obviously it's, it's not going to feel very pleasant with the wind and the rain in these western areas. Bit of brightness, could see highs of uh, 21, maybe 22 across parts of eastern England, 19 or 20 in the far northeast, which will stay dry even well into the evening here, but the rain will spread into parts of East Anglia in the southeast by the end of the afternoon. Should start to clear from Northern Ireland, Wales and the southwest. Could still be a few showers coming in here though during the evening. There is that low now approaching the far northwest of Northern Ireland by the time we get to uh, Saturday night and into Sunday morning, just edging towards Western Scotland with those isobars squeezing together. So it could be very windy too on the west coast of the Republic of Ireland. Some large waves again being generated here. The weather fronts, though, are moving through, so it is a case of sunshine and showers for most on Sunday. Close to the low, though, uh, we'll see a fairly wet day, I suspect, across much of Northern Ireland and more persistent rain possible in Western Scotland. Elsewhere, I'd say, hit and miss with the showers. They'll zip through because of the wind, so it won't rain all day. There'll be some brighter spells. And it'll, again, be eastern parts of England, northeast Scotland, that may not see too many showers at all. So a good chunk of the day could be dry here. That breeze, though, will make a difference to the feel of the day. When the showers come along, temperatures will dip as well. These are the maximum we're likely to see, so high teens. Again, low 20s across parts of the east, close to or a touch below average for the end of uh, August. And that area of low pressure will continue to bring some showers even as we head into next week. For more on that and to keep up to date with the progress as we go through the weekend, you'll want to follow us on social media. And if you're watching this on YouTube, do hit subscribe.